it. Let's get it. Everyone hates Tesla again, but it's nothing new. Now, shout out to the big homie, Joe Rogan. Let's see what he's got to say. They're going to have a couple of conversations about Elon, but it's very interesting. Let's get active. Well, Elon's the coolest. He's my favorite billionaire. That that dude's wild. He's a wild boy. I will buy Teslas as long as they sell them just to support that dude. Just to just to keep Twitter going. And they're dope. But yeah, just to, to support him, man. The, the, you, you, God damn it, you need an Elon Musk in this world. You need yeah. a wild boy. You need a dude, dude who's got great. $200 billion who dunks on people. Dude, how great was watching him realize in real time how stupid Don Lemon is? Yeah, Elon's a wild boy. And shout outs to him. And I support Tesla just because Elon's dope. And so the car is also great. Oh my God. Like you could actually see on his yeah. face oh as he's asking the questions and he's like, uh, well, if you lower standards, then you're going to get more incompetence. And Don Lemon's like, so you're saying black people aren't competent? And he's like, oh, no, that's not. And he slowly starts to realize like, oh, I have 80 IQ points on this guy. It's not. No, the 80 IQ points on this guy, guys, that's like really irrelevant. You guys really love to use that marker of IQ. It's like, how do you utilize your intelligence? Your IQ would be at the highest, but the way you utilize it is the pizzas of garbage. So net net at the end of the day, I think Joe Rogan's gonna bring up a great point to counter what he just said because it's just like, all right, now you're gonna play, I'm just more intelligent. You know, I got high IQ points over you, so I'm better than you. No, relax, man. Even a great mind could compute wrong information terribly, right? Even the greatest mind, if it's asking the wrong questions, will get the wrong answers, regardless of how high their IQ is. It's not just like, that. He said a very important point. He said that Don Lemon was doing CNN outside of CNN. Yep, yep. And you don't have to do that. You just don't. Nobody wants that anymore. I say you can't do that. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. But more importantly, you shouldn't do it because it's not good for you. Just be a human. Yep. Don't be this thing, this journalistic probing bullshit thing that's trying to spin a narrative. <laughs> this one <laughs> wild genius dude decides to buy Twitter. Isn't it amazing? See, that was a great point. Like, if you're going to be in the media, don't do the media thing. Like, you're outside of the media now. This is alternative news. We can do it vastly different. I mean, come on. How do I conduct myself on this channel? And I give you a lot of updates and news. So I'm like the Financial Times. All right, I'm not big as Kramer or Money Talks on CNN. But at the end of the day, we do the same thing. I just don't have to do what they do because I'm independent just on YouTube. They have to do what they have to do because of those reasons. Now, I'm not hating on them, but Don Lemon, if you're out of the media, stop being that. One of the things I never really liked about a lot of people who did interviews with, like, let's say Elon or even Kanye West is, especially black people, when they had interviews with Kanye West, they never like it ventured into his genius of how he created things and how he decided to leave behind music and transition into a whole different industry and be able to become one of the top performers of that. It's almost like sitting down with Bill Gates and not asking Bill Gates how he transitioned to the position that he is in today from his humble beginnings. Like, how did you start out from doing this or Mark Zuckerberg from being, you know, at, at a university eating, eating ramen noodles to being like one of the richest young entrepreneurs in the world. Like, how does that work? How did you go from there? And they didn't just box them in in one position. They kept watching the evolution. And for Kanye's interviews a lot, people want to talk politics. They want to talk about what you said in the past and try to get click, click bait with this and that instead of just diving into the mind of a genius. And that's something that Joe Rogan does. And I would even say Lex Freeman does very well when they interview people. It's not this click bait, you know, mainstream media type of angle. So shout out to Joe Rogan pointing that out. It's not so much about the IQ point, but about just being human. Amazing. Amazing. If he didn't do that, we would genuinely be, we would be totally. a real pickle. Honestly, Twitter or X now is, is really where I get like all my news. Like I don't even resort to a lot of the mainstream media places, at least for breaking news. Like I'll find it on X. Uh, so God bless Elon Musk. I, I really think that he has um, almost single-handedly really turned this culture around. So God bless him. He's definitely made it take a turn. And, and for anybody who thinks that's exaggerating, you have to take into consideration that is not a business move that any corporation that wants to make no. money would have approved. No. If you're Elon Musk, you can do it. But there's like maybe five of those guys on. This is 25 year old Steve. When I just joined the And I don't even think Elon could have did it. You know, just because he got money doesn't mean he can do everything. So people kind of make him into this 
you know, unbeatable human being. And a lot of people gas his mind up like, oh, you could do anything in the world. You're just so rich. And it's like, not that rich. Okay, guys, like all of his money is in a lot of his companies. And anytime that he's selling any shares of those said companies, shareholders and the same media, you know, they're going to launch their attacks. So stop gassing up Elon to the point where you guys are, don't understand you're weakening your hero by saying you could do anything. You're so rich. And it's just a big exaggeration. He's a single person. There's entities that hold way more wealth than he does. Right. And they could actually affect them in a large way because they're the majority of shareholders of his said company. So you just got to be smart. Just don't go out there and look at one person and say he's so rich he can do anything. It doesn't matter if Twitter's losing so much money. Lose it for us because we're our normies. And, you know, like unless you guys are going to support it and back it with your time and dollars and your attention and energy, then shut the hell up. Buy something for forty-four billion dollars. That's crazy. That's really probably worth half that. Right. So you can never justify it on paper. No. So he and I would say all these people who just oh Elon, thanks so much. Don't just be takers. You know what I'm saying? Like receivers, be givers. Like all of you should have a, a EV. You should have a Tesla specifically. Like if it's protected freedom of speech, why would you not follow it up by saying, yeah, I'm gonna buy products from the guy. Who protected freedom of speech the thing that you said is so much a part of the fabric of the united states of america i don't give a damn if i prefer this car over here it's like well that car over there didn't do nothing for freedom of speech and also that company shipped overseas so they actually took jobs away and i'm still buying it and one car just might be a foreign car so they never really did nothing for us come on guys so he's an insane person he and is. who's dedicated to free speech who just happens to have $200, million, $200 billion. So he can step in and do that. And when they tell him about advertising, that was one of my favorite speeches ever. He was like, go yourself. Isn't that awesome? It was amazing. It was he perfect. Goes, if you're going to blackmail me with money, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna do that? Go for yourself. It's amazing. And then he goes, and hi, that's, Bob. <laughs> it's hilarious. Also, he's smarter than everybody. No, so he's, he's, he's rich. He's, and he sees where all this is going. He's like, you people are out of your minds. Like, exactly. what are you doing? Exactly. So he literally has to step in and buy a social media platform. And then upon doing so, they release all these emails to these journalists like Michael Schellenberger and Matt Taibbi. And you, you find out through all this that they've been in contact with the this FBI and the FBI has been telling them to delete accounts and get rid of posts. And my account was deleted prior to the Elon Musk era. But I, I was able to make a new account under with, Elon, with Elon Musk. Twitter. Yeah, luckily. And it's the only platform that I found where I don't get my videos or posts removed. It's, he goes in, man. You think she got a Tesla because of that? No. This is what I'm saying. So I'm just saying, like, guys, <laughs> you're going to back him up? Oh, no, I'm just going to talk. Like, Really interesting to see how political he's gotten. And immediately upon being, because he was the darling of the left and the right. The left, obviously, for the cars, yeah. right? But the right, because he's a successful businessman, right? Yeah. And the second he takes a position politically, mm -hmm. he is chastised, shamed, ridiculed. Mm -hmm. And even before that, think about it. Everybody was invested in Tesla because the stock was going crazy. So not only are you the darling, you're making me money. Right. I want you to be great. Yeah. Once you're making people money, they don't want to write bad about you. Yeah. Especially if they got a million dollars invested in Tesla. Yeah. I'm not going to ridicule this guy and watch half of my money go away. Yeah. And the second he opened his mouth about politics. And the thing is, he snaps back at people. He goes. Which is crazy. He goes. Bro, he, yeah. he dunks on people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is hilarious. Yeah. But I'm also just like, you know, don't you got some sign? I don't even think the right liked him like that prior to him getting the acquisition of Twitter. Prior to that, they didn't like him because they were like, he's pushing climate change. And you know, the guys on the right, nothing gets them more riled up than climate change. Science to do, you know, like, yeah. get off how do you do this? Yeah. I don't understand how he does any of it. AI, dude. He created another Elon. Maybe he is. Maybe he's AI. But, but what he's done with Twitter or X is really interesting. I call it Twitter. Yeah, it's hard for me to change. Because well, it, it is an X that you made or is it a tweet? Did you tweet something? It's a tweet. I tweeted it. Yeah, it's Twitter. It's kind of funny, though, because it is X. Yeah, but it's know? Twitter. But it's Twitter. But like the idea that he is going to uphold this soapbox for free speech, despite having some awful things said, the greater outcome will be hopefully a civil society where ideas can permeate freely. He may have very well saved that humanity in some way. I don't know how happy Elon is, but I know he laughs a lot. Like I've been around that dude. If you're a business owner, then anime. So if he saved humanity, all these guys should have what? All these guys should have Teslas. Always laughing about it. He's always laughing about it. He's clearly under an extreme amount of pressure. He's clearly a high performer, but he's also seems to be enjoying a lot of it.
Did you see his interview recently with Lex? I think it was maybe four months ago. No, I didn't. So on that, there's a really interesting point where Lex is asking him basically what it's like to be Elon. Yeah. And Elon says, most people think they would want to be me, but they, they do not want to be me. My mind is a storm. They don't know. They don't understand. He said that to me too. Yeah. I'm it's like yeah. apocalyptic and, 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 and terrifying. But we spoke about this last time, uh, Tiger Woods, the price that people pay yeah. to be the person that you admire. Right. And, you know, Tiger Woods goes through this really difficult period with his father and all the rest of it. And this is the best remedy for envy that I can think of. Because people look at Elon as this dude who's sending rockets to Mars and he's making the coolest cars on the planet. And he's on stage in Japan or China or whatever doing weird robot dances and he's super rich. And you, go, you don't know the price that he's had to pay for that. You don't know the internal texture of someone's mind. You're here. Yeah, I would say a high price, right? A lot of sacrifices. And a lot of people don't humanize the people like Elon or any great athlete and celebrity. A lot of the times you guys just don't humanize them. They're humans. They make mistakes. They have personal problems. And if anything in that book about Elon is right, he got a lot of personal problems that he needs to fix and shift through. And I say that they're not really that problems. They're just first world problems that people kind of impose on Elon and make him cry and bring out the violin. But he can grow the hell up. It's not that serious, nor is it that deep, Elon. Cut it out. People have way worse lives. Your little... Difficult childhood in South Africa ain't nothing in compared to what people are dealing with. And I'm talking about like at least six billion people on the planet. Damn near living in almost extreme poverty. And we're crying about our dad yelling at us like grow the hell up. My dad used to beat me. Stepdad used to beat me in the back like I was Amistad slave. It is what it is. I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stuff happens in life, bro. Grow up. Stop crying. Heroes aren't gods. They're just regular people who probably got good at one thing by sacrificing literally everything else. Yeah, he's not a normal guy. He can't be. He's a very, very unusual person. And when you talk to him, you can tell, like, in the back of his brain, his, his mind is just firing. It's just going all... Like, I asked him, like, I'm like, what is it like to be you? Like, what is it like to have all these... He's like, you wouldn't want to be me. Yeah, he's not... He doesn't seem happy. He didn't even know that it wasn't normal until he was, like, an older kid. And he's like, oh, everybody's not like this? Well, you just... No, that's... Normal is not good, though, Elon. So see what I'm saying? Normal is not good. Most normies wouldn't... will produce babies they can't afford. They can't afford their own life. And then they'll produce three babies. And before they produced the three babies, they couldn't afford their own life. That's normal. Do you want to be that? That's, like, some... You didn't make smart choices in that case. So normal doesn't speak to the quality. It just speaks to the quantity. So you just don't want to say, oh, well, that's normal. Well, normal could be completely crazy if the quantity is high. If everybody's crazy, then that's the norm. But it doesn't mean the quality is good because they're crazy. So Elon, continue to do what you do. He's a human. He's just not crazy and moronic like you guys are. And most of you guys capping like y'all happy. Y'all ain't because y'all be crying every time talking about y'all live check to check and y'all can't make ends meet. Then you go somewhere where people are impoverished and they're got dang dancing and doing the crit walk. <laughs> just got ideas just bouncing around your head like laser beams <laughs> just constantly go. I mean, the guy's running three different companies simultaneously or four different companies. Simultaneously. Yeah, I think at the time he was doing like five or six too. It's something it's crazy. Insane. It's like buys Twitter. Yeah. Posts on it all the time dunks on people, posts memes, you know, gets people mad at him, and then is also running SpaceX and is also running Tesla and is also running the boring company. Like, what the f man? He, uh, it's having similar characteristics of like a degenerate gambler to be that successful in business like that because you mm -hmm. have to be willing to go all in all the time. Well, he's one of the very few people that's like the head of a business like that that's also, you know, a, he's an extraordinary human in terms of like the way his mind functions. So it's not a, he's an extraordinary engineer and he still is a good human, normal person. No way. No, you don't yeah. get to that level. It's interesting to me that people don't seem to understand the value and importance of a guy like Elon. Yeah. Who's this wild billionaire character who likes to dunk on people like that guy being like, did you see that thing that he posted the other day? Because <clears throat> there's a uh, one of the guys who was like from Facebook, I believe, uh, said that. Uh, and they're highlighting a lot of stuff from media, but beyond that, you know, dunking on him because he did a meme on media, like, all right, guys, but he also creates rockets. 
what Elon is doing is corruption on like an Enron level, I think he compared it to. So Elon posted a photo of a dog laying its balls on another dog's head. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, well, just just buy a Tesla, okay? We don't need to hear anything else. Let's go to another video real quick. Man, yo, he dunked on him, man. This is funny. Like, grow up, Peter Pans, all right, man? All right, here we go. Elon's physical and mental health is not in good condition. I really want to talk about this, but let me let this guy kind of come in here and cry for a second. Exercise while you're with him. He has only one home now because when his daughter transitioned and became very anti-capitalist, he thought that if selling all five of his pretty nice homes, he would just live very frugally and that would please her, which didn't work. I've never seen him say, well, I've got to go to the gym. How would you characterize his mental health? He goes through multiple phases, personality. And there will be times when he's perfectly cheerful, inspiring, sometimes funny, sometimes focused on engineering. There'll be times when he gets into a very, what Grimes calls demon mode. Demon mode. Like, come on. That's a that's one disrespectful. Let somebody call their ex-wife demon mode. And they'll be like, man, why are you talking about the mother's children like that? So women always throw shame. And she's not a psychiatrist and a psychologist. And guess what, guys? Surprise, surprise, drum roll. He's a human. You mean he's not always funny, a dancing, exciting? Sometimes he's he might be angry? Huh? anger and then here come grind demon mode demon my guy do you know what a demon is ignorance man people just be throwing words around and also thinking that they're like psychiatrists and psychologists demon an evil spirit or devil especially on thought to possess a person and act almost tormentor in hell really Huh? Demon mode. Like, come on, guys. He says he's probably bipolar. He's never been diagnosed, but he... So he's not. ...uses some medication that's been prescribed. He will get into these mood swings where he can be manic and depressive and bipolar. And so his mental health is not great. Whatever, man. That's a load of garbage. And plus, you're not a psychiatrist. I don't know how people are not a psychiatrist and psychologist diagnose so many people. Elon said he's never been diagnosed. So he's not that. Let's get that off the, regardless of what Grimes says, who also is a nobody. She's a singer, my guy. Like, what the hell does she know about that? Come on, man. Get this guy off my screen, man. Those people are losers. Let's continue, man. Elon Musk bashes reporter for being obviously mistaken about how compliant Elon really is. And, I, you know, oh, you know, there's been this thing where he's not very compliant and he's going to check this guy and put him back to reality. They're mistaken. And, and, and you, it should be obvious that you're mistaken. Um, my company's uh, automotive is he heavily regulated. Uh, we would not be al allowed to put cars on the road if we did not comply with this vast body of regulation. Now, you could, you could fill up the stage with uh, uh, literally, uh, you know, six foot high, with the, 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 the regulations that you have to comply with to ma make a car. You could have a room full of phone books. That's how, many, that's how big the regulations are. And if you don't comply with all of those, you can't sell the car. And if we don't comply with all the, the regulations for rockets or for Starlink, they shut us down. So in fact, I am incredibly compliant with regulations. Now, once in a while, there'll be something that I disagree with. The reason I would disagree with it is because I think the regulation in that particular case, in that rare case, does not serve the public good. And therefore, I think it is my obligation uh, to object to a regulation that is meant to serve the public good, but doesn't. No, I'm saying you're fundamentally... Simple, simple. Simple, but you know, media just want to say something real corny, real clickbait ish. I and saw he's, and he's in one of the industries. He's in one of the industries that deals with the most regulation. Come on, 
I really feel sorry for Elon, and it seems at every angle they try to find fault and take him down. And he never allows it, though, and it must be seriously frustrating for him. Yeah, that's probably why he's a little bit manic. Right? That's a probably why even his ex-wife would call him a demon mode. And the guy who's followed him around for so long, he invited it to his home. The whole book was negative. The whole book was a victimized book. Like, it was ridiculous. He came in and wrote that biography about Elon, and it was more BS. I learned nothing about the amazingness out of creating a company from scratch about him other than he's been victimized allegedly by his dad. He's a son husband. And then... <laughs> And his ex-wives are nothing but angels. None of them made personal mistakes. And he flips from demon mode to actual angel mode. And he ends the book out terribly in a negative way. It was like a backhanded compliment for one of the men who have changed the world and is the richest African-American. I mean, really. Let's go back to this comments. Besides that wacko Walter. All right. Here's exactly, or he's exactly correct. And not only has Congress delegated responsibility, it has made regulators free and untouchable as they please. Our republic is strangled. Next one says, it is refreshing to hear a man plainly speak the truth. Yeah, instead of this spying back reporter. Next one says, he actually really likes this reporter, which is why he grants him interviews. Yeah, right? Next one says, no one else would have the patience to explain this to someone. He's been very tolerant. Facts. Next one says, that's why cars are so expensive. Regulation and tens of thousands of government employees who make sure they comply. Facts on the city. Another one says, I am sick of everyone picking on Elon. He is the genius. One doesn't come along every day. Exactly. If it wasn't for people like this throughout our history, we'd still be a mud hut somewhere, igloos and caves living life. We'd be thinking it's mostly the people who small businesses don't create the railway system in America. Small business didn't create the electrical grid in the United States of America. It's big corporations and people who lead it, pioneers like John D. Rockefeller and the Vanderbilts and etc. Come on, guys. It would have been China that would have been number one, never of America, if it wasn't for the innovation of people like John D. Rockefeller, J.P. Morgan, Vanderbilt, Carnegie, Key, William Bowen. Like, there's only two pe people in the world, two companies that create planes, airplanes in the world, Airbus and Boeing. Without them, there'll be nothing. There ain't no small business that does that. <sighs> Let me continue. I admire Elon. His genius is putting America first in space again. America is lucky to have him. Straight lucky. And the African-American community is glad to have him. And that's why intelligence with common sense looks like. Exactly. When you mix intelligence with common sense, you're, you're going places. Elon Musk is a role model for American success. He has done a lot of important discoveries for the advanced human society. Much respect. And Elon is light years ahead of the liberal reporters. Shout out to everybody in the comment section that had something to say. I'm going to keep this video short underneath 25 minutes. Again, Joe Rogan, thank you for your support. And also get yourself a Tesla. And if you find yourself saying the same things about Elon, then consider buying a Tesla. I'm saying because economically speaking, you back up the people who support you and are for humanity and freedom of speech and all this other stuff. But it comes to the point where you're like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to decide to do is get in bed with the companies that don't do that for me. I'm going to reward the companies that don't do that for me. Yeah, yeah, the companies that took their jobs overseas. And look, I'm not hating on the outsourcing that a lot of those you know, automotive companies and legacy automakers did. I'm not hating on it. But just because you want to feel the vibration underneath your butt cheeks when you drive an ICE vehicle, that's a vehicle with an engine in it. I mean, that's questionable. That's pause. But at the end of the day, if Elon had done all that for freedom of speech, how about a freedom of purchasing a goddamn Tesla? See you guys on the next one. I enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. And hit that bell for a notification. Ah, I never said that before. <laughs> Everyone hates Tesla. I don't know why.